Hey guys, I uh, managed to get a hold of a, a battery. Um, I've decided to do some batteries or do some review and pull apart and modification of batteries this summer versus uh, parts um, for e bikes. Uh, this you can get this on Amazon uh, Canadian for about $130 shipped. Um, it's Dakota Lithium. These guys are located in the States, it's one of the reasons why I picked it up. Um, yeah, I had no problem. I ordered it, and it was here even, even in the middle of a pandemic. It was here in less than a week, so it's way better than ordering from China. Um, okay, right off the bat, from what reviews I've seen on this battery here, uh, kids are buying it for their little scooters. Um, they are running them in uh, series, and they are working, but if they pull more than 15 amps, they, uh, they cut out. Um, now, I don't know if that's because the BMS is set that way or if it's it thermally um, throttling the battery because it gets too hot. Um, first off, to get it open, you want to take a look on the inside. Um, see, one thing it's got, it's got these, it's got these uh, terminals. I hate those terminals, but I mean, that's, that's the default for this type of battery, this size of battery, because you'd use this in like in a UPS and that. Um, I'm going to be using it as a test battery on the bike or a booster pack until, uh, until failure and then I'll try a different brand. Anyway, um, to get it open, uh, you don't have to use any kind of cutting tool on the uh, battery itself. Um, I use the old uh, surgical blade. You just basically have to push in the groove and then sort of lift the uh, red rim off the blue and it'll pop all the way around and then it'll just lift right off in one piece like that. Um, if you were wondering, it, uh, it is not, I, actually I thought it would be soft pouches. It's not, it's actually um, cylindrical cells, which is good. I could add more if I wanted to. Um, I had a bunch of uh, rubber uh, on this in here and in here to hold it in from coming out. Uh, you have to dig that out. You have to be careful on this side because there's a, right, a white wire that comes around to the back. And you don't want to damage that. Uh, right out of the, as soon as I opened it up, obviously I didn't have to dig into it. There was some damage to it. Like I don't get this here. Someone was chiseling away at the case there, which I don't get because it's not chiseled there. And right there. There's some damage to the black wire. It still works, but uh, there's bare wire hanging out there. And uh, a couple of threads of the wire are actually damaged. So that would f that's a failure right there. That would fail. Anyway, let's take it out, have a look at it. Not much to it, really. You got uh, 12 cells. And there's your BMS. Um, even before I use it on the bike, um, I'm going to bypass the FETs. The reason for that is I know for a fact there's not even a heat sink on this thing. It's going to overheat, right? <laughs> I don't even have to put a bet on that. It's just it's, it's, it's going to happen. So there. Hopefully you guys can get a better view of that. Going to pull this off. It's a piece of foam. Looks like we have something here for thermal, it's thermally protected. That's probably, that could be one of the things that, uh, uh, no, it's not. That's an actual fuse. So, yeah, if that, uh, if that goes, it's not going to reset. So that's the last resort. Looks like they used electrical, they, the tape they used inside this, uh, the tape, the BMS down, it looks like a surgical tape. Yeah, there's not much in the way of um, heat sinking on this BMS, so you could fry, I would fry it for sure. I'm not even going to attempt to try and use it on the bike. The cells, they can take a little bit of more abuse because they're cylindrical. Oh, we got another sensor on this side. Yeah. So this one on this side is thermal. So three of these FETs take the load. When you um, when you put a load on it, and they'll shut off if there's any issues. 
and then the one controls either controls the thermal or it controls the charge rate but uh, one of these are free for something else and well we got to figure that out because I need to be able to bypass the uh, the ones for the output which we will do shortly just keep pulling it apart here oops I'll be reusing that or foam on the bottom. Oh, sticky. So, they almost look like the same cells that I have here. Or it might be just a different color. Yep. So if I wanted to add to the pack, I could. I could make this, uh, let's see if I need, well, I don't think I can do it. I don't have enough cells. be nice if I did. <clears throat> I could uh, make it a uh, 20 amp instead of a 10. So, let's see. No, I got enough to do one side. That sucks. You basically just double up. see. Like I said, I'm going to be playing with it most of the summer, so it's the BMS I'm worried about right now. I'm trying to figure out uh, oh, there's some more stuff on the bottom there. Let me have a look at it and we'll see where we have to bridge it. Okay, so I went and looked up the the, um, the specs on the, on the FETs. And each one of them is an end channel. It's rated for 100 volts at 120 amp. Um, yeah, so it likely would survive if I was just throwing the bike the way it is. But basically, it would overheat. Um, obviously, it, it would need a heat sink. Even if they were to put a, a small heat sink on that, it would, uh, it would survive. It would overheat the battery cells. Something awful, but it would work. I mean... 120 amp is the max, so, and like I said, I think two of these are on the negative side, and the other two are on the uh, positive side, from what I can tell by looking at it now, but uh, I'm going to see what it's going to take to bypass it anyway. I just have to make sure that I don't mess up when you go to do the charge. When it uh, tops off the cells, the BMS uh, kills the, um, the input voltage. So the, one of these cells, one of these um, MOSFETs does that, or not two of them. We'll see. Actually, guys, even before I mod this, I think we're going to leave it as is. Um, I'll put it back together exactly the way I found it. And we'll actually do some road tests on it. Uh, if there's, I'll, I'll just basically take a tool with me. If there's any issues, I can just basically rip it open real quick and um, pull the leads or whatever to keep the batteries from going up in smoke. But uh, I think this BMS might actually survive. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and um, pull 80 amps through it and uh, see what happens. Um, either it fries. We'll see what the cutout is like and uh, what the heat is like when I'm done. Because I have a thermal uh, probe there. We can we can test it. But uh, I want to see how much these can take. Like it's just basically using the board as a heat sink. So it should be interesting to see what happens to it. So I'm going to put it back together and we'll uh, run some tests. Well, that's basically how I found it. Yeah, I'll just put an elastic band around it and we're good to go. Later, guys.